try to, I'll try to condense it a little bit for, for battery sake. Okay. You going? Yep. Years, five years ago, I was on a trip myself, uh, intending on riding from Portland, Oregon back to Minneapolis. When I was in the car, still on my way out there, with the bike mounted to the back of the car, I stopped in uh, Lolo Pass on Highway 12, and I happened to run into this guy named Mike, who's got his bike all loaded and set up, and it was just a, a really nice layout. And he wound up teaching me a few things, but also he wound up uh, recognizing me. And when I got out to my aunt's place, I mean, later on, he sure. came back, but as I got out to my aunt's place, I was there for four days, and he told me that he was heading all the way out to Portland. And that's where I was starting from, more or less, uh, Vancouver, Washington. And on my way back, I was already into it for two days plus. And I happened to stop at this little place to get some ice cream, and I noticed that bike. I'm like, I recognized this bike because it was all loaded in a certain way. And I stopped and I said, hey, Mike, how you doing? And he looks at me and he's like, we've met before. And I said, not only have we met before, but you taught me a few things about how to take care of myself along the way. And it was just phenomenal to see a guy twice when once on the way out with the car, the other time on the way back, myself loaded with my bike. It was, it was just uh, awesome. outstanding. He's, he's a retired science teacher, and he wound up coming from California, and he was taking the uh, Lewis and Clark Trail as they did it, so to speak. I wound up riding a portion of the Lewis and Clark Trail on my way back from there. Phenomenal trip. Whoa. Strongly recommend it. If you're not getting out on a bike, get out and see some people. It's yeah. a good time. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs>